everyone. All right, take three. Um, my name is Jennifer and I'm going to do a reconciliation, um, a tarot, uh, <coughs> um, tarot reading um, with the spirit of the dog. So it's kind of like a shamanistic uh, oracle tarot. Um, which I've been using for a while now, and I find it the guidance from it to be um, pretty awesome, actually. Uh, I really like it. So um, the first couple of videos were a little weird. Maybe we're doing the reconciliation. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like clear everything out here and uh, see where we go from there. You might want to reconcile with yourself. You might want to reconcile with a family member. You might want to uh, reconcile with the spirit. Um, you know, when I first started, and I still, I guess, you know, having a relationship with the spirit is uh, different than having a relationship with a human, um, so that is um, something that I don't know how anybody could really accurately tell you, um, but uh, just out of what happens of experience. So, um, so let's wake up this energy in here. reconciliation with our guides and um, okay do this many cards but how I do it is well it came out again oh no it didn't this was a different one there was a tree in the first video now this one had popped out the other day uh, let's, see let's see what the spirits want us to know today so the first one we have is the seven of C, and that is kind of like um, a seven of cups. Um, and this dog is associated with the fairy realm. And you can see some, uh, I don't know if you can see my angle here. I oh, can't see that card. Let's see if we can get a shot of the card. There we go, it's better now. The uh, corgi. And um, yeah, it's like the uh, Seven of Cups. It's kind of like moving on um, a spiritual journey, but it's kind of like in your imagination. Um, and I have recently uh, found out that I could be related to uh, fairies um because i looked up my last name and uh it is uh, related to a fairy queen but there's not a lot of um uh not a lot of documentation um to be found because a lot of it was um destroyed um a long time ago which so some some spirits that I want to be working with. Um, so let's see what this says here. So illusion, wishful thinking, daydreams, inspiration, pipe dreams, and fantasy. So it's basically like it's good to be a it's good to dream, but um, you know 
Yeah. Let's, what are we going to do to, what, what else is this reading saying um, for the next here? So let's look up the Six of Sky. And I've made this uh, reconciliation candle uh, in a couple of moon cycles. And recently I've been working with it and had um, some amazing days um, of uh, just really getting um, back into really who I am as, a, as being a, a fun person, you know, and uh, um, not letting, um, you know, people walk on my spiritual self. Because when I'm wa letting people walk on my spiritual self, I'm, you know, I'm going back to my dreamland, so to speak. Um, and uh, so I think it's an important balance to keep, you know. Um, always keep your spiritual self. So Six of Sky um, is decisive change transition, cutting losses, and defining movement and move, moment and moving on. So yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. Uh, what were you pursuing had to be left behind so that you could move forward. You had the heart to set on something, but it became clear that it must go. Now you've made the decision, however hard it may be, you will notice that other opportunities that you wouldn't have seen that you kept your focus where it was. So, <clears throat> right. So it, sometimes it's hard to let go of, of something you really had your mind on or maybe you did for a long time or pop, perhaps it was a relationship that you had um, dreamed of, uh, you know, um, you know, ideas and, and creative ideas are, are beautiful, but when you get stuck in them, you have to, you know, it's get you just have to let it go, and there has to be some depth to that, and move on. And let's see. And so the next is the wheel. I just love the artwork of these these cards. They're like the very fun and um, what's with the dog? Like it's 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 kind of it's inspiring to me. <laughs> um, it's just like they're so much fun. They're so positive. Dogs are uh, such a positive um, spirit. Really? Um, okay, let's see. Looking for the wheel. All right. Good luck, cycles, destiny, timing, fortune, fate, change, karma, and transition. It's always better to roll with the cycles than try to reel against them. This doesn't mean that you should stop trying, but remember that all things change, growth, decline, and renewal are always coming back around their turn. During times of growth, rejoice in it. During times of decline, hang on to your resources, knowing the time of growth will come back around. <clears throat> so that's very true. Um, and that being said, in change, then you're coming into your own personal power by doing, by doing the work, by having the dream and the creativity and letting it go, going through the cycle of letting it go and then actually letting it go and moving towards your goals and 
than coming into your own personal power. And that is where that uh, the emperor, let's see. Cause I wanted to, I wanted to start my channel for a long time, but you know, I was just <laughs> trying to be, make it too, uh, I've written music for it. Um, I'm just not very good with uh, putting it on to film yet. So I'm gonna have to have somebody help me with it, but I just gotta get started. Jesus. Um, okay, the emperor. Authority, status, leadership, stability, endurance, structure, mastery of self and solid foundation. And that's, you know, that's awesome. That's what comes with change. And then with that, you have reconciliation with whatever it, it may be, you know. There's often a lesson uh, to be learned and sometimes in pain, um, pain is the only way that you can learn a lesson. Um, like something had happened to me the other day and it was, it was a very odd thing, um, that I, I felt like I had the energy that I did like 20 years ago and I wanted to buy a pack of cigarettes. I was like, Ugh! um, and I uh, just so overwhelmed with this energy that, um, and it made me realize that I have done so much work on myself to just be able to manage that energy. Um, and it gave me a, a big lesson um, <clears throat> that, you know, I am uh, valuable to help other people, you know, and uh, I think that's it, that's you know, knowing your value after you've done the work and there's the new beginning, then the puppy, I think that was the fire puppy. Wait a minute, let's see what he's up to. Must be in the back. Uh, maybe not. Mm, there he is. A fire puppy, fearless, brave, free spirit, innovation, awakening, passion, inspiration and daring. You're full of creativity, curiosity, and wonder in the world around you. Let your enthusiasm carry you to new adventures. Express yourself and embrace your passion for life. Even if you're new at something, if you're brave enough to keep your head about you and don't give up, you can become a great innovator and visionary. Your fresh perspective could change everything. So that's that's really true. Like, you know, just because you're new, because you're new, you might be, you know, um, even better than somebody that's been, you know, like, uh, whatever, getting stale. <laughs> right? So that's kind of a, uh, that's a really, um, cool way of thinking about it and let's see here we got the ace of sky i remember when i found this stuck um the ace of sky it's hard to tell if you can see it or not all right it's kind of like a little wind catcher a dream catcher what did it do? Sky to the beginning. All right. Raw intellect, mental clarity, victory, 
and power. Your mind is clear right now. You see all the puzzle pieces and how they fit together. The cobwebs are blown away, revealing the light of truth and the space to deal with the bottom line. It's time to put your mind to work. You're ready to fight for a just cause to make your case with inspiration on to victory. So how about that? So whatever it is that you are trying to reconcile with, a relationship, um, your past, you know, with yourself, um, reconciliation is a, is a, is an amazing spiritual tool, um, in so many ways. And so I hope that this reading has helped you, if it resonated with you. At the end of my reading, what I like to do is I like to pull um, one of these cards. And it says, to be open to whatever comes next, it might just be the music that your heart has been waiting to hear. So that's pretty cool because I'm a musician um, maybe you're going to hear some, uh, good news to be open to new possibilities and be open to new possibilities. All right. And this is the cat. Um, I don't know if you can see that. My cat oracle. Um, I like a lot of knowledge cards at the end of um, my readings for like a little bit of more insight into the reading. Um, so meet Sapphire, the generous spirit in us all. When it's dark outside, we will always come through for us with his dancing rainbow lights and gentle eyes. Allow generosity to flow in all directions. Offer your hand, your ear, your understanding and heart to a person in need. Graciously receive and help from another when you are being challenged, stuck, down, or on your luck. Be generous with yourself. Give yourself time, love, and sweet nurturing care. Take turns being the helper and the one in need of help. Generosity connects us to something larger than ourselves. And that is like, so spot on. Um, so giving back this year, um, I've uh, decided to not um, use uh, a laundry detergent that comes in the plastic bottle. I'm using uh, just paper. Um, so, I'm not, um, so I'm giving back to the spirit, <laughs> the spirit of water, the spirit of earth, um, spirit of air. Um, so <clears throat> I'm trying to be a more conscientious to all the elements by doing um, something in, environmentally um, proactive and not trying, but like actually just do it, you know? <laughs> right um so that in itself um has strengthened uh my witchcraft and my sensibilities and my life by giving and and doing um that that one thing you know um so reconciliation in your life could could very well uh, come with uh, an attitude of generosity so and being open-minded that's very true so why not we'll just uh if this is still going <laughs> i um uh i'm just getting the 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 hang of the, the camera and all that um something really bizarre happened on my okay Well, 
Wild Rose. Yeah, I definitely, um, I recently had uh, a very good experience with roses. Um, and this year, this new year, um, putting them in my bathtub um, and learning um, to embrace um, the power of gentleness with myself. So that was a another a good tip of self-care. So I hope you really enjoyed my reading and I really thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you next time for uh, next month's reading. All right, thank you.